Welcome to another episode of Sunday Storytime with Miss Riorta. In today's episode, we're going to be reading Good Night, Darth Vader. This is a story that my daughter loves to hear before bedtime at nap time or right before nighttime bedtime. Yawning is a path to bedtime. Yawning leads to weariness. Weariness leads to lying down. Lying down leads to sleep. Good Night, Darth Vader by Jeffrey Brown. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, episode 8 p.m., bedtime. Lord Darth Vader rules the galaxy while attempting to rule his twin children, Luke and Leia Skywalker. He has commanded them to go to bed, but they have other ideas. Luke, Leia, join me and I will complete your bedtime. Now, why do we have to go to bed? If only you knew the power of sleep. Read us a story. Yeah. As you wish. If I may say so, I merely commented that a perfectly acceptable blah, 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 blah. It's hard to sleep if you're annoyed. Now it's time to shut down each droid. When Jar Jar puts on his PJs for bed, he always ends up with a bonk on the head. Dexter's diner is quiet with few patrons in sight. Soon it'll be bedtime. Soon it'll be time to turn off the light. Sebulba races to always be best, even when he gets his beauty rest. Pace, 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 pace. Poor Darth Maul is pacing long into the night. Pace, 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 pace. He's wide awake and can't sleep, try as he might. Padme is tired after too many galas, so sleeping is quite welcome for Queen Amidala. It takes a long time, in fact, nothing takes longer for battle droids to say goodnight to each other. Roger, 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 Roger. Ahsoka the Padawan is not ready for bed, but she drifts off to sleep when she lays down her head. It's bedtime on Kashyyyk for all the Wookiees, so now they climb high to sleep up in the trees. Getting ready for bed, General Grievous is done four times faster than anyone. In the arena, it's always a fight to settle the creatures all down for the night. The archives are silent, the Jedi are sleeping. Jocasta can now rest her eyes after reading. The raiders, they sleep, the day's roaming a chore, while outside the Banthas con contentedly snore. Snore. Ben goes to bed early. He is very wise. He sets his alarm for a bright early rise. The Jawas have all gone inside for the night, but now they will argue who should turn off the light. It's too hard to sleep for Han Solo and Chewie in this wretched hive of scum and villainy. Shh. 
Yoosh! Bounty hunters tuck in all ready and set, except for young Boba and his dad, Jango Fett. I need a drink. No, go to sleep now. Read me a story. I have to go to the bathroom. I'm still hungry. It's easy to sleep on the cloud city gleaming where Lando and Lobot lie peacefully dreaming. Good night, Falcon. Sleep tight. Don't let the space slug bite. Rest I need. Yes, rest. Time for bed, it is for Yoda and all of Swampy Dagobah. The sons of Tatooine have said in the West, it's time for the Sarlacc to sleep and digest. Yawn. All through the night, Jabba's place is a roar. The party's too loud for the sleepy rancor. Too noisy outside for baby Ewoks. It's best when the Empire's been silenced with rocks. Shh. It's hard to be cozy when living in trash, but when he gets tired, Diagona will crash. Near the Emperor's bedroom, guards hear noise from within. No. It is you who are gravely mistaken. As Palpatine talks in his sleep once again. The fleet goes to bed asleep in the stars, except not just yet for one hungry Akbar. It's a bedtime snack. Good night, Death Star. I think dad's asleep. Again. Good night, Luke. Good night, Leia. Good night, Darth Vader. The end. I hope you enjoyed our story today and um, we'll come back next Sunday for another story. See you guys, bye.